Hello everybody, it is me, Kovu, and today I am here to watch and react to Half Mouse Mermaid Tales, Episode 3. Now, this one I am very worried about because the thumbnail and the title of this episode, it's called Merman with a question mark. And the thumbnail, do I really need to explain it? It must be who I think it is. Ian. Who else would have gray eyes like that? I don't know who else could it be, but it's gotta be Ian. Who else would have those eyes? And the, that shade of blue as well. I'm not happy about it. I'm scared about it. Who knows what will happen? And if this does turn out to be a little mermaid type then Ian's gonna ask for instead of not the marriage I will say it's not gonna be ask well actually it's not gonna be the voice from the little mermaid it's gonna be asking Ian to marry him and obviously Afmau has somebody else to has in mind because she loves Aaron and only him so Let's see how this goes, shall we? Here we go. We got 21 minutes to watch this. Three, two, one. Captain Garth, the Crystal Heart. Where is it? <laughs> well, you see, funny story. The prince has no need for your stories. Hand him the Crystal Heart or I'll... I don't have it. I beg your pardon? <laughs> I, I said it was a funny story. <laughs> oh boy. Garth, you done goofed. And Prince Travis must be the maniacal asshole. <laughs> I haven't even told you the story yet. Uh, what are you laughing about? Well, see here. I swore that you and I made a deal. A deal where I gave you more than enough gold to fix up your ship. Y yes y you did. <laughs> and I also made it possible for you to hire enough men for this journey to retrieve the Crystal Heart. And mind you, I did this all in good faith. It's not every day someone trusts a pirate <laughs> with this Oh boy, I know where this is gonna go. Garth is gonna send to the gallows, isn't he? Because the way Travis, or Prince Travis, is acting right now, he is doomed. No future for Garth. Oh well, nice seeing you, Garth. It's kind of money. Th th that's why I'm here. And you're here empty handed. Please, allow me to explain, Your Majesty. There was an incident with the current and it ended up falling into the sea and- So... it's lost. Um... yes. Yes it is. Amber? Yes, your majesty. Take Captain Garth's ship. What? Right away, your majesty. N no You can't do that! That would ruin my reputation as a captain! Then you should have thought about that before making a deal with me. As kind as I am, I am not one to be taken advantage of. Wait, no, please! Look, uh, how about another deal? No, no chance, boy. you dirty pirate! I'm listening. Your Majesty! You can't! I'll allow him to speak, but please, make your words of value to me, Garth. Uh, you are too kind, sir. Oh, thank you, Miss Travis. <clears throat> so... Hear me out. You were looking for the Crystal Heart to propose to a maiden, were you not? Indeed. Do you mind if I ask how the search for a bride is going? Poorly. I have yet to find a lady I wish to marry. What? No way! All the maidens want you! You're a handsome devil, and very kind and brave! Cut to the chase! Prince Travis doesn't need to hear what he already knows. Oh, right. Uh, so, <laughs> what I need to... Oh, boy. Let me guess. I'm gonna hear out of Garth's mouth, he's gonna find a woman. 
to marry Travis. Why am I expecting something like he finds Aphmau as a human being? And then... Oh boy, this is not going to end well, isn't it? Ugh. I already had this feeling that something's going to happen like this. Mermaid Tales? My street version of The Little Mermaid? Am I not, did I not make that clear in like the previous two episodes? Oh boy, let's see what happens next. Pose is something far more valuable than the crystal heart. Ha! Please, what could be more valuable than that? A maiden's heart. By which I mean the heart of a maiden who will love you for you. You've got to be kidding me. He doesn't... I'm listening. Go on. Prince Travis, you can't be serious. If he proposes something of value to me, then I may grant his appeal for his ship. If not, then I'll take his ship and lock him away for toying with my time. Choose your next words wisely, Captain Garth. Oh, boy. I do not appreciate having my time wasted. <laughs> Garth, I think you sealed your fate now. Meanwhile... Who are these? Oh, it's <laughs> Caitlyn and Tiani. It looks, it looks creepy. With this kind of shaders. Let me give it a shot. Oh, there it is! Darn it, I thought that would work! Caitlin, we've been out here for hours. We've tried everything. We have to face the fact that we're not getting out of here without a sea crystal. Then we'll just have to get a sea crystal. Uh, what? Don't, from where? Don't steal it from your father. father. Oh, god damn it. Steal his. Caitlin, there's no way we can. We can't, Tiani. But I can. Oh no. Don't... I made this mess, and I'm gonna clean it up. My dad may not want to risk it, but I will. As a palace guard? I can't let you do this on your own. You need someone with you. <laughs> Thank you, Tiani. Now follow me. I have a plan, but we need to hurry. Who knows what horrible creatures Aphmau may run into. Well, you will be surprised about the creature that Aphmau made. And she thinks it's a whale. But nope. It's the bot. It's the butt of a ship. Oh boy. Meanwhile, ah, help me! what's happened to her now? <laughs> They're tickling me with their feelers. <laughs> Aww, but we were just playing. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, oh, I, I do not know what could happen next. Oh, sorry. I wasn't sure where we were going. It just seemed like you had stopped. If only we knew what the what the what that thing is talking about, or I think it, they call it a sea bunny. Oh boy, let's see what happens. Oh, because we're here. Sorry, I didn't notice. Um, where exactly are we? Yeah. The sea bun king. Aww, the sea bun king. Cute as you guys. <laughs> Where is he? The sea bun king. What kind of a name is that for a king? Uh oh. What? What's going on? Don't tell me it's Ian. I. Oh, what the? Wow, that's that's 
a big thing. That's a sea bunny. Mm. Who goes there? Hey, it talks English. <laughs> a mermaid? <laughs> Don't be silly. There hasn't been a mermaid here in. Hi! Sweet fun heavens, a mermaid! Huh? How do you know I'm a mermaid with your eyes closed? You're talking in mer speak. Only sentient beings such as myself and you can speak the language we're speaking. Mermaid right now. speaks? And I only Mermaid know of a speak. few of them. Mermaid speak or whatever you call it. Now let me ask you. Are you Tavari? Who? I suppose you are not. You do not sound the same. Let me ask you this. Are you from the kingdom of Mariana? Yep. <laughs> yes, I am. My name is Athmau, and as a symbol of our friendship, I want to give you this. The heart, the sea, uh, oh. A wreath oh, crown. Oh, indeed, I'm from the kingdom of Mariana. How do you know? <laughs> Very few merfolk live outside of Mariana, and you sound too young to have been living outside. Lost and trying to find a way home? Hmm. Well, there's no point in going back home. Why? Because you're going to be our dinner. Huh? Oh, no. You sound rather cute. However, we are hungry, and merfolk are a feast we've never had. You've got to be kidding me! Forgive us! Now go, my children! Feast! Oh, boy. <coughs> Uh-oh, here's another mermaid. <sighs> Don't tell me it's Ian. They're just licking me. This isn't painful at all. Nonsense! That's how sea buns eat! Now feel their wrath! By licking? <laughs> um, this tickles! Do not mock us, you! Oh, give it a rest, you old bun. Huh? Who is it? Who's talking? Oh, I hope it's not Ian. Who is what that? The... Uh, another merfolk? Amazing. I haven't seen a mermaid in ages. Y you are living out here? Oh boy. Whoever he is, it's not Ian, that's for sure. So, uh, what do you think it's worth? Hmm. Well, I'm not quite sure what it is. Never seen anything like it before. However, it's quite unique and beautiful, so I'm willing to give you five copper for it. That's nothing. No thanks. I'll just keep the dang thing. Thank you for your time. Stinking pirate. He hates a pirate. Oh, boy. Uh, Aaron, keep it, because it belongs to your true love. Aaron, there you are. Huh? Oh, look at you. Unscathed. Was half expecting you to be in jail by now. <laughs> oh, I managed to strike another deal with Prince Travis. Well, aren't you lucky? Yeah, aren't well, you lucky? We made a deal that if I fail this time, I won't uh, be alive. <laughs> oh, so that's why the deal was made. You basically have everything to lose. Exactly, and I was willing to bet my life on it too because this one. I know can't screw up. What's the deal then? <laughs> I have to find Prince Travis a bride. Oh boy. Oh what? It's quite simple, you see. I have to interview the ladies and find one that's worthy of him. So you're basically going on dates for him? It's better than losing my ship. I ain't gonna let that happen. Oh, oh boy. Good luck. Good luck, Garth. I... Wait, wait, wait! I need you to help me. Help you? To find a date? Look, the deal is simple. I need to bring him a girl who either has a heart of gold or oh boy. is a princess. You aren't going to find a princess anywhere. Well, then it's a maiden with a heart of gold. And you're going to help me find her. 
A maiden <laughs> with a heart of gold. Now that's funny. What's in it for me? If I successfully find this dream gal and their wedding goes off, then I get 50,000 gold. And I'm willing to give you 10,000 if you help me. That, oh, that would be enough to get me a ship. 10,000 gold. Aye, what do you say? Ugh, I'm gonna regret this. Yes, you I'd are. You're an idiot to refuse. Exactly! Oh, yeah. Anyway, let's get going. Oh, boy. Meanwhile, let's see who this purse so, mermaid is. You are from the kingdom of Mariana. And a princess at that. Y yes By the way, is the Seabun King... He's sleeping. That happens very easily with sea buns. How rude of me. I forgot to introduce myself. Yeah, My who are you? Tavari. Tavari. I'm the sole merfolk who lives out here alone. Uh, alone? Um... Oh no! I don't have any more flower crowns! I'm so sorry! I have no need for one. Now, follow me. We'll continue this talk at my grotto. Uh, okay. A grotto. I, mean, I don't know what else to do. I don't want the sea buns to lick me to death. Wait for me. Okay. I'm. I already forgot that guy's name. Tavari or something. And that's his home. It's a s giant ass skull. They walk like they're human beings with their fins up like that, but they're, they're supposed to swim like that, like everywhere? Yep. There they go. He's a potion person. Oh no. I have this bad feeling about him now. Your place is beautiful. Thanks. I decorated it myself. Now, tell me. You went into the sky, didn't you? The, the scales. They're ugly. They are. You don't look as beautiful as you could be. If you go back to Mariana looking like that, you're going to be an outcast. I... I don't know what else to do! <laughs> I can help you. Y you can? Yes, but it will require you to hunt a human. <laughs> a human? Those don't exist! They do. Oh boy. And they're in the sky. I don't believe you. Tell me, have you seen a creature that looks like us, but has two tails? <laughs> looks like us and has... <gasps> Uh-oh. She has. Yes. Yes, I have. Well, that's a human. No way. So, you have seen one. Then you can bring their hair for me. Huh? I am what your king would call a sorcerer. I make potions and things of the sort, and I've been seeking to get an ingredient from humans. However, I do not want to risk what happened to you to happen to me. And since you're already tainted, you will work perfectly. Huh? Well... What do you want me to do? Oh boy. Take this sharp seashell. Use it to cut the hair off a human's head. What? If you do this, then I can make you a potion to heal your wounds and potentially remove your showing gills. But I've never spoken to a human. You shouldn't. If they see you, they will take you and gut you. You have to do this without them realizing what you are. How do I do that? That's up to you. I'll leave what you do from here up to you. Good luck. Oh boy. 
I don't like the looks of this. I just hope that she doesn't get pulled up into the sky. <laughs> I may not have to do the dirty work. I don't trust you, whoever you are. I think your name is Tavari or something? I think the I- The hair of a human? Which means I'll have to meet a human. Which means I'll have to go- Up there back again. Up there. And that's- Dangerous. Exactly the kind of adventure I've been looking for! <laughs> but right. you're covered in scales, Aphmau. You're gonna be covered in them once you go back up there again, damn it. Oh boy, let's see how the maiden searches. Sorry, I don't date pirates. Ha 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 ha! Sorry, I don't believe you're asking me on behalf of Prince Travis. I like long walks on beaches. Not interested. Damn. Oh, why does this have to be so hard? No one said this was going to be easy. Plus, we've only been doing it for a few hours. I have one month to find this girl, and if I don't, I'm doomed! One month? I'm going to go take a walk to collect my thoughts. You complain way too much. Uh... Aaron, I think you should have known that Garth would be complaining so much because of that voice. And obviously his personality is too. Okay, let's... Uh-oh. Oh, for a minute I thought she, she that was Michi right there. Oh boy, I don't like the looks of this. Meanwhile, Aphmau is... What is she huh? doing? Is that... a human? Oh no, it's Michi! Oh no, oh no, it's Michi! It is! Alright, um, maybe if I just pull it in... I can quickly grab its hair without it seeing me. That's not a good idea. It's Meech. <coughs> it's Michi. Hold on. That was Michi. Uh, don't mention it. I... Oh. oh no, why would you do that to Aaron, damn it? It's her! It's the merman from before! Or is he a human? Is she? She can't be a mermaid. But I can't see her legs. Wait, ow! Oh! Ah! Eh. Come off, human hair! Sheesh! Oh god. <laughs> Ugh, what was that? Where'd she go? Oh boy. Aaron, are you okay? I'm fine. Just shook. I saw you save this beautiful girl. She seems nice. Thank you both so much. Both? I did all the work. Ma'am, may we buy you a drink? Of course! Oh boy. You got one hour Huh? What's this? What a is- ring made of flowers? This isn't enough. But, I got it! Just like you said! This isn't enough to heal you and make the potion I want. I need more. But I'm scared. The human was stronger than I expected. And I don't think he's a human. He has two tails he uses to swim. <sighs> you act like a guppy with your lack of knowledge of this world. Fine. Rest for now. Looks like you might need help with this. Oh Zane. boy. Zane. Come here. Oh no. Wait a minute. Zane? Oh no. Oh god. Oh, I am not ready to see what Zane looks like. Oh boy, let's see. Hello. 
the hell? What the, the what the hell? Oh my god. They didn't know. They didn't. Oh no. Half metal and the crew did not just turn Zane into a talking crab. Oh no. They did not. No, no, no. Oh god. I'm. I am speechless because Zane is our Sebastian if this turns out to be a little mermaid kind of a story. And. Uh, Zane is our Sebastian. And Aphmau's our Ariel. Aaron is our Prince Eric. And uh, King Eric is our King Triton. And oh god. I, I don't know what to say no more. I've seen a little bit too much now because Zane is a crab! Oh, oh god. And I think I was mistaken because that guy did not have gray eyes. Either I think I'm colorblind because uh, it looked gray from my point of view. Oh god. What did they do to you, Zane? That is creepy beyond all hell. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not going there and talking about it. No, nope. Oh. Well, I got nothing else to say, but what, whoever this Tavari is, he's making potion with human hair. And oh boy, I don't like the looks of it. And well, who knows what could happen. And Michi, I wonder if she's perfect for Travis. She sure acts like she could be a perfect match. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. This is way out of whack for me. So, thank you guys for watching me react to this. I'll see you guys in episode 4. And, uh, oh no. Th I just can't believe it. Who knows what could happen next. Just, who knows. Okay? Just who knows. So, I will see you guys in episode 4 or any other reaction. Goodbye!